In this video, we'll go over how to set up and use HD60X with OBS Studio. First, you'll need HD60X connected to your computer and have an input such as a console connected to the HDMI input and turned on. Now, go ahead and open OBS Studio. Right click in the sources box or click on the plus icon and select video capture device. Give the source a name. From the device dropdown list, select Game Capture HD60X. Game audio and video will appear in OBS Studio. We suggest keeping all settings at their default for the best experience when using HD60X with OBS Studio. If you're on macOS, you'll need to do one more step to capture audio. Right click the source box or click on the plus icon and select Audio Input Capture. Give the source a name, and then from the device menu, select HD60X, then click on OK. You can use OBS Studio's monitor feature to listen to your game audio while streaming. This is particularly useful for consoles that don't support dual audio outputs such as PS4, PS5, and Nintendo Switch. Note that game audio will have a slight delay which matches that of the captured video. Once HD60X is added to your scene, right-click inside the audio mixer and open the advanced audio properties. Find the HD60X source and in the monitor column, select Monitor and Output. To capture audio from HD60X's analog port when using Chatlink or Chatlink Pro, close OBS Studio and open the Elgato 4K Capture Utility software. Open the Preferences at the top right and click on the Device tab. From the Audio dropdown, select Analog and then click on Apply. You can now close the Preferences and 4K Capture Utility and reopen OBS Studio. If you're having trouble setting up your HD60X, Head over to elgato.com forward slash help for additional setup guides and our customer support contact information.